Now it's no surprise to everyone that the cryptocurrency market is heating up. Now, we've seen Bitcoin get to 42,000 US dollars and probably by the time this video comes out, we'll hit 45 or 50 at this rate. Ethereum comfortably passing 1,000, now hitting 1,200 US dollars. And today I wanna to have a look at another cryptocurrency which has been around a very long time and may be what we're looking for to increase our Ethereum and Bitcoin values. And I'll show you why on the charts very soon. I'll also dive into what it is, where it's come from, a bit of brief history on the coin because you've got to understand the history of it and the market sentiment and what's happened in the past to get a bit of a feel moving forward, especially if you're new into the market. If you are and it's the first time you're seeing my channel, thank you for stopping by. Remember to hit the subscribe and the like button down below if you find some value from the channel and hit that bell notification icon so that you see the content as it comes out. As of course, we know by now that YouTube is shadow banning cryptocurrency content. To the returning subscribers, thank you very much guys and thank you for your requests on new coins to cover. I'm very excited to share this one with you guys today uh, as I dive more into the research. It really is looking like a reasonable trade that I want to take to test and see if we're going to be able to increase our Ethereum and Bitcoin bags. So without further ado, let's dive in to today's video on drum roll, probably send it in the title, Litecoin. Now this is going to be the video that I'll refer back to throughout the bull market and we will do updates as well. So it's very important that you subscribe down below if you haven't heard that enough by now. I'm not gonna be here to blow your ass up with a whole lot of hopium and all this great background music. I've done that enough in the intro. Let's dive into the beginnings of Litecoin. Now in today's video, I wanna take you through how I'm researching Litecoin and why I think it's a great trade. Long term, I don't like Litecoin as something I want to hold and I just thought I'd make a mention to that early on in the video. I definitely see it as a good trade, possibly to increase our Ethereum and Bitcoin holdings. So that's why I'm gonna take a look at it today, especially because it has a lot of history as well. The first thing I wanna start with is coin market cap. Uh, always good just to check out market cap, still increasing over a trillion. Litecoin, 171 US dollars, and the market cap is 11.3 billion. So if we take a look at Litecoin itself, what is it? It's been around for a number of years, 2011, when it first came out, Charlie Lee, the founder, and basically forked the Bitcoin code. So just the code, it wasn't a hard fork, not a soft fork, it's just the code there. And this is the faster Bitcoin. There is more of it, four times more, and it's four times faster. So Bitcoin's 10 minute blocks, Litecoin's two and a half minute blocks, Bitcoin uh, 21 million coins, Litecoin 84 million coins. So it got this reputation of being the silver to Bitcoin being Bitcoin is the gold. Now at this point, you might be wondering why am I bringing up Litecoin? Why do I think it's such a fantastic potential to increase our Bitcoin and Ethereum holdings? Why am I talking about it in such a negative way when I'm looking to invest in it? The main reason is how long it has been around, its history, and it is secure. And we all know that people like boring, they like secure, and especially for institutions, they want something secure and not gonna go through the heartache that XRP is at the moment. Now, before we dive into the technicalities on their GitHub, let's have a look at Google trend words. Now, we brought this up in Ethereum's video. Now, for Litecoin, it is also on the move. In comparison to its peak in December 2017, we're still a long way off that. And the trend that we're starting to see now is Bitcoin, everyone's searching for Bitcoin, it's moving over to Ethereum. Now, a lot of the other altcoins are catching up and that's no exception with Litecoin, it's definitely on the rise. And I think we will eclipse this all time high with Google trend search words. And that basically means if people are searching more then there are definitely gonna be pe more people buying the coin, which of course is going to be putting pressure on the price. 
Also, as we get further into the bull market, people become more desperate. Investors, newbies become far more desperate to try and make up their losses on the Bitcoin price. They saw Bitcoin at 10,000, 12,000, 20,000. They didn't buy in, now it's sitting at 40,000 and they become desperate to make up the gains. And they look for coins, especially like this, especially that it has the name silver to Bitcoin's gold. It's around just as long. It sounds similar to Bitcoin. It's a lot cheaper than Bitcoin. So all of these mental games people play with themselves in order to increase their Bitcoin stores is going to play out in the price action on Litecoin. Along with all of those mental games that new investors play, they're going to use this as well, the similarities between Bitcoin and Litecoin and believe that Litecoin could catch up to Bitcoin some point in the future. It's their chance to get in on a cheap Bitcoin. As we said, Litecoin was launched in 2011 by Charlie Lee. They have many similarities. They're both decentralized. Uh, they are very similar in their security and they also have mining. That's a big thing as well, whereas a lot of projects are moving towards staking. On the outset, Litecoin does sound like such a great deal, especially when people can pick up these terms like transaction speeds and that Litecoin is far faster than Bitcoin. So that just plays into the narrative that Litecoin could become a lot better. Now we are talking a lot about fundamentals at this point because it is at the end of the day a huge mind game you'll know yourself when you come into a cryptocurrency that you have to want to believe in something in order to invest in it and i've seen this happen throughout many cycles not just cryptocurrency but in stocks and in the everyday indice markets not only is the website easy to read and to use and for people to get into the space Litecoin has also accepted it over 40,000 merchants. This was almost two years ago, so I'm assuming they definitely have over 40,000 now. That's a very good thing, especially in the cryptocurrency space. You want to see that, that it's being accepted, it's being used. So there's a lot of good stuff about Litecoin, but let's move on to the actual development of Litecoin. Now, we're going to have a look at GitHub. But first, what the hell is GitHub? Quite simply, it's pretty much like a workspace, an online workspace, an online whiteboard for developers to list what they're doing on the projects. And so from here, seeing as they're a decentralized project, we can see just how many projects, how many commitments they are working on for the project. Now, this is something that I definitely look at when it comes to investing in a project long term, just to see whether it's vaporware, whether there's actually anything being built on it or if it is in real use and there's being a lot of activity and developers coming to the platform as we'll see now. So that's as simple as I can put GitHub. Now for Litecoin, we don't see much here. One activity during the week of the first week of January. Now you might think, well, sure, they may have done stuff years before, but if we take a look at Ethereum, first week of January, same time period, we have a lot of activity. 24 merged pull requests, 12 open pull requests, 12 new issues, 26 closed issues. Let's take Bitcoin as another example. Bitcoin a week in, January 1st to January 8th, uh, 33 merged pulls, 31 closed, eight new issues, 22 open pull requests. This is what we wanna see with a live project. Now I don't claim to be the expert on understanding what GitHub is. I purely use it for this case just to understand whether there is actually any development activity going on with the project. And what I've heard for a long time is that there's not much happening with Litecoin. Maybe they're not using GitHub as much. Maybe they're using their own program. But a lot of the decentralized uh, cryptocurrencies do use GitHub. And that's an easy way for people to see if it's vaporware, if, there's, if it's actually a real project, or if it is a real project and there's a lot of development being built on that blockchain. Now, if we wanna see big gains in Litecoin, we need institutional investment to come through as well. Not only have we discussed the retail investment side, but we definitely need to see the institutions coming through. And looking at Litecoin, it isn't 100% confirmed from the SEC. However, uh, Litecoin is confirmed that it is not a security. This is from the Crypto Rating Council. They are an organization that assists crypto related companies understand whether they comply with current US federal securities laws. Now this article is from back in 2019 and I've chosen this one specifically because they've gone on to talk about cryptocurrencies that have high chances of being considered securities include Maker, Polymath and Ripple. 
Now, this is a year before the SEC filed their lawsuit against Ripple, XRP, and so far, they're on track. So I'm taking this as they've done their research and they are a legitimate organization, the Crypto Rating Council, and they don't see Litecoin as being a security. That's important because we need to see institutional investment coming through. Now, institutions are buying Litecoin and they're buying it at huge premiums. This is through Grayscale's trust, Litecoin fund. And I believe they're buying it this high because at some point they need to get in and they want to get in before everyone else. And they're happy to pay a premium because they believe other people are going to come in, other institutions, family offices, and try to buy the Ethereum for a much higher price than they're currently buying it, even though that it's over a premium of the current market value. So institutions are definitely coming in. We can see that with Grayscale as well. Now, Grayscale's Litecoin trust is definitely increasing. They're at 195 million of assets under management. And previous to this, last year, we can see from September 30th, so just three months earlier, they only had 68 million. So there's definitely big interest coming through for Litecoin from institutional investors. So, so far we've covered the reasons for retail investors to FOMO in pretty much because I don't believe they're really gonna understand what is going on. Institutions are coming in because they see this as the next step down. We've got Bitcoin, we've got Ethereum, we've got Litecoin. It's not a security, it's a secure place to get into cryptocurrency and move funds around from there. Next, let's take a look at the charts. So I've got three charts to go through and we're gonna look at specific trade setups themselves especially Litecoin versus Ethereum and Litecoin versus Bitcoin. I think this is going to be the best time to get a very low risk, high reward trade with a very close stop as well in case we are wrong. We can always be wrong. All of our suggestions and trades can be wrong. Anyone. All right. So I just want to make that very, very clear. But I love this look now. I love the look of this trade setup because the stop can be so very close to the market to show us whether we're right or wrong with our trade setup. So the first chart most people come have a look at is Litecoin versus US dollar. We see it at $170. The lows were at 22 and 25. Now I'm being specific with these prices. It's not just willy nilly prices uh, just to say them for the sake of it. The reason being is that already we can see 22 and we're getting close to a 10x return from those lows. Generally, we do see some sort of a pullback from there. So keep that in mind, especially as we continue with a price rise. Now know the difference between logarithmic chart and linear charts. We're on a logarithmic now. We have broken through the downside bear market resistance. So that was a good trade set up through here at 60 to $70, currently at 170. So you've got yourself about two to three times the money from that breakout trade. That's a higher probability trade than buying at the lows. However, the lows obviously have bigger returns. We're gonna look at what we can do now. And we've just broken through this previous top that was set in June of 2019. And those tops were around 140 to 150 odd dollars there. So we're at 170, we've broken through that resistance. The next levels of resistance are at 220. So we've had that as a support previous in the bear market of 2018, just the start of the bear market. So that's an important price point to pay attention to. And then on the bull trap rebound was also seen as resistance. So it went from support broke the support, came back and hit it as resistance. So that may be a psychological area to pay attention to, just like tops and bottoms and other trading range areas. So 220 is getting quite close. That's just on the USD chart. Overall, I definitely think we're gonna slice through these prices, but it's something to pay attention to in case you get in a little bit later, you've seen this video later on and you're wondering what to do. Is now a good time? Just pay attention to that in case we get a dip from there. I'm not saying it's going to happen, but if we do, this is cryptocurrency. We can see falls of 20, 30, 50%. And should we hit 220 and come back to our level to come back and test the old resistance to make it support, that's a solid 30-ish, 35% drop. So if you can't weather that in your own personal psychology of trading, then definitely do not get into any market in cryptocurrency because you were bound to experience a 30% drop or more. So that's the USD. It's looking good because we have broken through these highs. This is a safer trade for fiat into Litecoin, but 
we're not there anymore, we're higher up. So let's take a look at Bitcoin versus Litecoin. Now the Litecoin versus Bitcoin chart is far more favorable for our trades. So say we had bought into Bitcoin or we are just looking to increase our Bitcoin holdings. This is looking very nice because we are still sitting very close to these lows. And we're currently at 0.0042 of a Bitcoin. These lows are at just below 0.004. So that's 0.4 of a percent of Bitcoin. That's the value of Litecoin at the moment. Now, what I was talking about earlier is this trade in particular. Should the market go against us, we have a nice area to place our stops. And we can just place it beneath the lows because if it goes beneath the low, closes under there for several days, we know that they can spike and come back up and that's the risk that we take when we're trading. But if it goes below it and stays under there, then that is a signal that this could be heading lower against Bitcoin and we should just be in Bitcoin rather than in Litecoin. So we've done all the fundamental research. We've got a pretty good understanding of what could come next for that. Now we wanna make sure that we're increasing our Bitcoin and Ethereum holdings using a trade like Litecoin. Next, I wanna throw on the volume and the 50 MA. We can see that we've used it as some support and resistance. It is a lagging indicator. However, I know a lot of people watch it, so check it out. It's there, it's hitting as resistance now. And once we flip this, of course, it's all an if, then we do have a much stronger sign of a move up. Plus, the volume at these levels is ever increasing. And that's what we wanna see at a solid low. In particular, it would be nice if it was on these lower bars. However, we're gonna have a look at it moving forward from here because the closes are getting higher through this area of the low. And these little areas on the right-hand side of the bars are the close. Now move it back to a weekly chart. Don't look at this on a minute or a daily. Bring it up to the weekly so it's macro and you're not getting swept in and out of the markets as this starts to trade 10 or 20% in either direction. So it could move 10% down and still not hit our stop. It could move 10 or 16 or 20% up and still not be a confirmed trade. So just keep that in mind if you are planning to increase your Bitcoin and Ethereum holdings with Litecoin. So the lows, uh, the closes are getting higher. You can see the closes here, and now we've got some closes here. This week is due to close in a couple of days. This is looking strong. Now let's take a look at Litecoin versus Ethereum. And you can see this chart is in a similar position to Litecoin versus Bitcoin. We've got some high volume. It is on the bars that are coming down. It's not exactly what we wanna see, but if we get some stopping volume here, this could be stopping volume, basically a stop to the downtrend, then that is a good sign that we could head up again. We've got the 50 MA above us acting as resistance. If we can flip that, that's also a good sign. These orange dotted horizontal lines are alerts. Tradingview.com, there's a link to this in the description down below if you wanna use this software, nice and easy to use. And basically we wanna to continue to see this market trend up. We've got closes increasing as we move up. We definitely wanna see this close just above the one, the 0.14 to give us some sort of confirmation that we are heading in the right direction. This day, this week gives me a lot of confidence. We've got high volume, big spike day down and it didn't continue the following weeks. And we've just seen another push to the upside, hopefully with a higher close. So this is looking really good. As I was talking about low risk trade because we can set our stops so close to the current market action. This is where we currently are. Stops could be as close as 20%, and this is not leveraged. So if you were to throw in one Ethereum just for numbers, and it went against us, you'd lose 20% of that one Ethereum. So you'd come out with 0.8 of Ethereum. This is what trading's about, risk versus reward. So you've gotta take some risk if you're looking to get that reward. The upside potential I'm looking at here is to double our Ethereum and to double brings us up to around the 0 0.28, because we're currently at 0 0.14, double 14 is 28. Is that a good area to take profits? Sure, it's just beneath the resistance point, and we shouldn't see too much headaches up to that point if we can break this high again. The next point, if we want to triple our Ethereum from here, 100 brings us to 0 0.28, then we're gonna to go to 0 0.42. Again, 
We've got a little resistance here, we've got some resistance at these lows, but we're nowhere near the old all time highs, which also improves the probability of this. We don't want to have to try and push through all time highs in order to get our returns. So there are the positives of the trade, nice and close to the stops. There's a lot of upside potential. There's a lot of retail coming in, institutions coming in. So we do have the drive there. We've got some volume coming through, a lot of good stuff. Now the negatives, we are still in a bearish decline and we can see that it keeps hitting resistance and getting rejected. That's something that we don't wanna see. However, I think this may be the last rejection before we get to breakthrough, similar to what we saw on Litecoin versus USD. There was a lot of rejections on the way down and then a break through the tops. And just as a refresher for Litecoin versus US dollar, here's the top connected to another top, rejection, rejection, breakthrough, and away we go. I think that is what is going to happen with Litecoin versus Bitcoin and Litecoin versus Ethereum. Now, I'm not going to get greedy on these trades, a double, a triple, of my Bitcoin or Ethereum price, great. So if I'm going in with a thousand bucks, then I want to double or triple that to then take out to buy my Ethereum or Bitcoin. I definitely want to be moving my profits from this into those other holdings. That's all I'm using Litecoin for because I don't think long-term it has the potential to break through and go stronger than a Bitcoin or an Ethereum price. What I mean by that is we're currently at 0.14 of Ethereum and to get to its old all time high is going to be closer to 250%, going to be a 0.6 of an Ethereum. Now, who knows when this will happen, but Ethereum is obviously going up in price as well. So if Ethereum hits 10,000 US dollars, that would mean Litecoin would have to be a $6,000 Litecoin just to reach its old all time highs on the Litecoin versus Ethereum chart. So you've got to take that into consider consideration as well. So the point here is to increase our holdings of our main portfolio, Ethereum and Bitcoin. And that's essentially what we use all of the altcoins for. We just want to increase our bags. That's why you search for top DeFi projects or top altcoins to invest in for February. You know, these are the sorts of things why we use uh, other altcoins. We want to increase our main bags. So again, they're the targets that we're looking at. Come back to this video throughout the next quarters. Maybe it'll play out sooner than that. That is my take on Litecoin. That's my price predictions. I am pricing it against Ethereum and Bitcoin because at the end of the day, we want to see those bags increase. So that's the, that's the aim here. And lastly, if you are looking to trade Litecoin in Australia, I've got SwiftX here on the side. Super easy and extremely fast to set up an account. If you don't already have an account, let me know your experiences with SwiftX in the comments. And if you're overseas, I do have a link to Binance in the description. So there's a link to SwiftX and other Australian exchanges in the description. And of course, Binance down there as well if you are overseas. So that's my look on Litecoin and why I think it's got massive potential to increase our bags of Ethereum and Bitcoin, and of course, our fiat currency, if we wanna take some of that at the end and diversify into some property or stocks, which I also cover on the channel. So check that out. This is an overall investment strategy. We're not here to be degenerates and lose everything that we've just made. We want to increase our overall portfolios and make this a sustainable endeavor long-term. All right, guys. I'm gonna leave it there. Thanks again. Let me know your thoughts with Litecoin and what you see coming in the future for this setup. And I'll catch you guys at the next video. Remember to share the video, subscribe and like up the video if you found some value from it. I'll catch you at the next one. Till then, have more fun to get more done.